In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process involved with upgrading a Nexus iOS image on a Nexus 9300 series switches. Before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing to the channel and also turn on the notification to get my future video updates. Also, don't forget to like the video if it is helpful for you. There are two different kind of images in these Nexus 9300 series switches. One is the boot image, that's the switch boot zone. There is another image called EPLD that add more features to your switch. EPLD stands for Electronic Programmable Logic Device. I have a separate slide on that. I will explain more when I get to that slide. When we say 9300 series switches, it is a fixed chassis switch. There are different models in these switches. These are the models that is available and it's going to look like this. So let's look at what are the process involved in upgrading the image. First one, you need to make sure, look at the version, what you have right now and decide what version you need to upgrade to. Also look at the EPLD image version on it. You have to issue show version module, module number EPLD. Normally it is a fixed switch. So this number is one show version module and you put a question mark. You will see the number here and you put the number one EPLD you will see what features you have in this switch. You need to save this for your reference because after you upgrade, you need to compare this with your previous versions of the image. So as I said to you before, decide what version you need to upgrade to. In this case, I'm going to upgrade from 9372, 937A. So make sure you have this new image version downloaded into your TFTP server. The next step in the process is go to your switch and issue a command show boot and find out what version it is booting right now. Now it is booting from 9.3.7 and the next reload also 9.3.7. When you upgrade the image, it will say the next reload will be 9.3.7a. Also issue a command called DAR boot flash and see what are the files in it. You will see the image that is currently running. After you download the image into the switch, make sure you issue this command again and make sure you have the new image also in your switch. Also, you have to make sure you have enough free space available for both new image and old image. If you don't have enough space, you need to delete the old image before you download the new image. Normally these switches have plenty of storage so you can have space for both old and new image. After this verification process, you need to start the configuration. So go to configure terminal. You have to put a host name to the switch and go to the management zero. The management port is the one you do all the management work, including all the configuration, upgrading the image and such and then configure an IP on it and no shut. And then you have to go to the BERF context management because these switches have a separate context for management and put an IP route to your TFTP server. And after you configure these ones, make sure you can ping your TFTP server from your management BERF. After you verify the connectivity to your TFTP server, you can start to copy the new image and also the EPLD image. EPLD image doesn't have to match with the bootable image. EPLD is totally different than the bootable image. So find out what version of the EPLD image you need to have on this switch. So as I said you, what is EPLD? Cisco provides electronic programmable logic device, EPLD image, upgrades to enhance hardware functionality or to resolve known issue. This answer I got from Google. So people ask also, do I need to upgrade EPLD? EPLD upgrades are typically not required, but in some case such a new chassis installs or chassis redeployment, we recommend that you upgrade to the latest EPLD version 
to ensure that all upgradable hardware components have the latest feature enhancement and caveat fixes. So now you know what is EPLD. There is something called golden EPLD that is running on the backup supervisor. Since these 9300s are standalone switches, they do not have a backup supervisor. So golden EPLD upgrade is not required for these switches. So let's go back to this slide here. And in this slide, you downloaded both of these images into the boot flash of your switch. After you downloaded them into the boot flash, you need to change the boot parameter. Now it is going to boot from new image. And then you need to issue this command copy running config to startup config. This will set the boot variable within Pira. If you don't do that, it doesn't save the new path. After that, make sure you issue a command show boot and verify whether it is going to boot to the new image during the next reload. After this verification process, now you are ready for a reload. Go to the switch privilege mode and issue a command reload and say yes for the reload. You have to wait at least five to 10 minutes for the reload to complete. After the reload complete, you are ready to install the image. Before you start the installation, make sure to issue show module command and make sure everything passes. And then you can start the installation process by using this command. Say yes for the installation. Now it's time for you to install EPLD image and issue the same module command and make sure everything looks fine. And now you can install the EPLD image. Hit yes. After the installation of the EPLD, the switch will reboot automatically if upgrade needed. Otherwise, it won't reboot. Now it is time to check whether it need a golden EPLD upgrade. It's also reboot automatically if it does need an upgrade. So you have to issue this command. So basically you are adding golden at the end of the EPLD image. If you look at here, this is a previous statement. And now you are adding golden at the end. Hit just and wait for the process to complete. And most of the time for these kind of switches, it will tell you EPLD golden feature is not supported. With this, you have completed all the upgrade process. And now it's time for verification. Issue show version and make sure you are running the version you upgraded to. And issue show boot and make sure it will always boot to the new image. In this case, both variables must be pointing to the same latest image. And also issue a command show version module 1 EPLD and compare this with the previous version. If the EPLD got upgraded, these numbers will be different. Once you verified everything, everything looks fine. Now you are done with your code upgrade. And if you have the configuration stored in your TFTP server, you can download that configuration file into your management verb. And from your management verb, you can copy to your startup configuration and reload the switch and the switch will come up with all the configuration that is needed. Because most of the time, we are doing the code upgrade for an existing switch. So we will have the configuration stored somewhere. So you need to retrieve that configuration from your TFTP server so you can restore your switch back to your old configuration level.